and the players are coming out now. You're going to hear a big applause and a roar all in the background here. The Camberley players, some of these Camberley players, Nick, have never been out to a game like this, have they? Definitely not. They've definitely not experienced this. And it's going to be, uh, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how they, uh, how they cope with it. I, 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 I think that they're, you know, I think they're pretty level-headed. I think that they should be able to, uh, they should be able to hold their own, really, in, the, in that respect. But it's, uh, you know, and it's interesting. Dan Turkington has actually come out with his players. He's actually there standing behind them as they, uh, as they line up. Is he, is he out there to get the glory as well? Or is he out there to, uh, to calm them as they come through and give them some words of encouragement? Yeah, they, they, they certainly are. And uh, the last time we went to a big game like this, Min, you know, David versus Goliath was Staines Town at Leighton Orient. And it, it was a disappointment, wasn't it, really, that Staines didn't raise their game that day. And they were a little bit overawed. It just really hope that that doesn't happen to Camberley. Sure that he's not offside. Anyway, it's, it's never going to be Lazarchuk taking this. He's blasted one. Oh, he really drills it. But fortunately for Hereford, Martin Horsell, all he had to do was stand firm. Well, yeah, we've got uh, Dale Weber down here on the right hand side doing a throw. He's uh, put it up. Matt Bunyan tried to get to it. He couldn't get to it. But Dorma got his head on it. Coles has got it. He's squared it out to uh, to Doug Ford at left back. He's moving it forward. He's giving it out to Emerson on the left hand side. Emerson has put the ball into the box, and Bunyan's gone up with the keeper, and he's headed the ball well. He, obviously, the keeper gets the ref the referee's benefit of doubt. But Bonella got his head to it, and now it's with Bundu, and uh, but it's bounced back to Coles. Coles puts it inside to Lazarchuk. Emerson is in so much space on the on the left hand side. He's running into the area. He shoots, but it's uh, oh. high and wide and uh, really didn't, uh, didn't make the most of the opportunity there. Simmons, as um, they try and break their way into this uh, Camberley half, ball comes over, it might make the Bundu, everything is trying to get the Bundu out on the left here, he goes on the left-hand side, he's certainly got the pace, his ball comes rolling over, and a great cross, and he is a threat, Luke, uh, Nick, isn't he? He certainly is. And, uh, um, it's not the end that Camberley are kicking out, which uh, we'll see plenty of that in the second half. That's a nice ball through to Bunyan. Ooh. Bunyan through, and I thought the player pulled him back. The referee's yeah. got to have a word here. Nick? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the keeper was out of position, and uh, Bunyan was definitely through. He was. Um, here comes Doug Ford as well. Yeah, it goes Ford as well. He come up, he's come up very, very late as Ford. And uh, cross comes in from Nazarchuk, and it's a good ball in ahead of third. It's oh in! It's in! It's a goal! And um, Camberley have got 1 0 up. I'm trying to pick out the goal scorer. Bunyan. Bunyan is the goal scorer. The man they've up low, upended to get the free kick. And Hereford must be kicking themselves. They did not pick him up. And Camberley are 1 0 up. Nick? Yeah, 23rd minute. Well, you say that you say Lazarchuk had a kind of a sighter, didn't he, before to uh, to uh, actually get a, uh, get a shot on target. But this is the Camberley. And I think a lot of the Hereford fans are still reeling over that goal. But it was well taken by Bunyan. Ball comes through here. Babundu chips it over the keeper. It's hit the crossbar. But the draft linesman's flag is up. I was too busy looking at the flight, the ball. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> It's already this is an FA Vars game that's uh, got a lot of lot going with it. Well, we were sitting next to, uh, um, you know, a long, obviously sounded like a lifelong Camberley fan when we were at the Epsom Mule game. They said they miss Bunyan, didn't they? Yeah. Didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, they miss Bunyan. Here comes Bundu though for Hereford trying to outpace Ellis. He won't get there. Oh. Bradshaw's there. Cannon's back off of Bundu as he goes to clear it. I think it hit him in the cheek. Yeah. Oh no, it's hit him on the arm. It's hit him on the arm. But the ball that is not 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 Bradshaw. Here comes Hereford again. They're 1-0 down. Camberley, the game has suddenly gone up about two notches, hasn't it, in terms of passion and pace since that goal. Ellis is just standing aside. Here comes Bundu. He's going to look like Shapes is going to take it. It's gone to Haysham over on his left-hand side. He goes down, and that looked like he fell over more than anything. He Nick. certainly did, but it's enough to get the crowd shouting, and uh, they are the crowd is like another man here for, uh, for Hereford. Out of defence there by Horse, so it doesn't really get anywhere. But uh, here come Hereford anyway, and uh, they're going to play the. It's running up, and Bund who's got pace, and he's got. Oh dear! And that's a free kick for diving. Bundu is being yellow carded for diving in the area, and uh, the, wow. I can tell you the, the crowd here are uh, not happy with that decision at all. But even so, Simmons gets the ball, and uh, Dan Jewell is trying to hold him up, but he's turned him, and now he's heading towards goal, and. Uh, 
Oh, out on the far side. Ford has left his man. But uh, well, good. Ellis gets in on there. And uh, Chimolti had a good chance there. But here comes the ball. They've all missed it. It's come to the back post. Bend over. Grant Bradshaw comes down. Saves to his feet. His big hands push it wide. And that's the first real chance that we've seen Hereford have. Yep, the uh, stands are emptying. All the, all the shot have equalised against Gateshead. There is yeah, a half-time whistle. whistle. What a half it's been for Camberley. They're 1-0 up. A wonderfully taken goal from uh, Bunyan from a free kick. Yeah, as opposed to the way it was in the uh, in the first half. And we kick off and uh, put straight away Purdy puts it all the way back to his uh, his defence and uh, to uh, to Jamie uh, Jamie Willits. Uh, so uh, yes, interesting to see how uh, how both teams adapt as uh, as Summers clears it upfield and clears it out of uh, out of play straight away. Here comes Ellis with the throw. He's got it there into the six yard box. The gun up. Dormer's headed it. Headed it. Goldwood, but. Uh, that was uh, certainly heading uh, on on, uh, on target, but Horsell managed to get across and uh, save it and get two hands on it quite comfortably there. In fact, you know, I think he was trying to get in his shirt almost. But here comes Birch. He's been played through. It's been played out to Bundu, and he's overcooked it really. And uh, Bradshaw was able to come out and uh, and collect it. Bundu, he's lying, he's holding his knee, and so is Bradshaw. Their foot on the ball, and uh, again, Oates just lost it. And Emerson tried to stop it there, but he's taken a quick throw. It's into Simons in the area. He's out of the area now. He's trying to turn. He's turned Doug Ford. He's pulled it back to Purdy, and Purdy's put it over the bar. Oh my goodness, no pressure at all. Rolled back to him beautifully. It was there. He had the whole goal to aim at. Obviously, Bradshaw was in there, but he didn't even get it on target. That's it, and. Uh, it's got the attendance for the Salisbury game actually. It's 1,791 there, so that's that's some good uh, a good few people watching non-league football this afternoon. And look at that! That's amazing stuff by John Mills. And that here's hands. Why is his hand doing up there? Doug Ford, absolutely needless, absolutely needless. The Camberley left back is jumping in the air with his arm up above his head, and the ball comes off his arm and goes out for a corner. That, that really odd. To see. Oh, that was just needless. After all the hard work that Camberley have done to get themselves in this position, it's now a penalty kick for uh, for Hereford, and it's Bundu that's going to step up and take it. And the crowd are going bananas here. At, uh, as they try to uh, try to encourage their man to uh, to put the uh, put the ball in the net. I think we're on the 63rd minute now, coming into the 64th. Dale Webb is trying to protest for uh, for Camberley, but uh, really there's there's not much you can do. I if, don't I don't think much hope for Bradshaw here. But if I had to put a goalkeeper down to do a stop in such an important game like this, I'd go with Bradshaw, wouldn't you? You cer you certainly you wouldn't. Uh, you you'd be. Uh, You'd be pleased to have him between the sticks, but uh, yeah, I don't know. This is going to be tough, isn't it? I think Bundu has got to be favourite to score this, but let's just see what he can do. He's stepping up. Here he comes. And he said Bradshaw the wrong way, and as you can tell by the crowd, they are absolutely ecstatic. And that has got to be the most unfortunate way to give away a penalty. And Doug Ford is going to be living that as a nightmare tonight if, uh, if things don't go their way. So, uh, yep, Hereford have equalised, and uh, it's game on now. They were putting the pressure on Camberley but without really causing them much of a too much of a threat. But now it's uh, now, of course, uh, they've got to try and uh, weather a storm, and they've got to try and get back into it straight away. Actually, here come Camberley. Perry Coles is coming through. He's it's four on three. He plays it out to Dormer on the uh, the right hand side, but oh. Dormer's cross goes out of play. Yeah. So here, free kick into the box by Birch. It's, it's headed up by Bunyan. It's headed towards the keeper. Oh, it's cleared off the line, I think, by Jewell there because uh, Bunyan headed it towards his own keeper and his keeper couldn't get to it. But Jewell managed to uh, to head it clear. Bunyan is uh, down there on the left-hand side. He's trying to trick Dale Webb to uh, to get to the byline. And here he goes. He's using his speed, but the, Dale Webb's using his experience to get hold of the ball. And he's cleared it. And it's cleared out to Coles. Can Coles find Lazarchuk? He's trying, he's found Lazarchuk. Can Lazarchuk square it again if he's quickly? He can. Ellis has run up as well. Here comes Emerson. He's coming down the left hand side. He's got to find, he's got to use it well. He's, he's kind of come to nothing, and there's nobody in the middle for that.
Southern's bringing it out. He's got to the halfway line. He's trying to find Coles. Coles is down the uh, the right hand side. He's on the uh, he's on the touch line. He's only got Bunyan in the middle. He's always oh, he's, he's turned him beautifully. But what's he going to do now? He's he's coming back with it. He's put it square. And oh, Southern's hit it. But Bunyan's coming in. He's got it. He's got it. It's, it's in. in. It's, it's in. in. The referee's at the front. And Lazarus nice giving it, and it's a goal. It's a goal. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. unbelievable. Bunyan's made it two one. What is going on there? That's ridiculous. How did they come out? They came out of nothing. I tell you what, any reporters waiting, you've really got to be quick because it's such a great cup tie, this. What a break that was from Camberley. Coles goes down the right-hand side, cuts into the penalty area. He looks like he'd run out of option. But then he managed to get the ball, a loose ball into Bunyan. The keeper came out. Who was going to get there first? It was Bunyan. He got there first and the ball just trickled across the line. and they try that to come down this side Bundu's got the ball he's trying to get around Webb Webb's trying to keep him close and now it's Dorma that's trying to keep him close the ball in flow from Bundu straight all the way into the six yard area and into Bradshaw's gloves with uh, Simmons just waiting there to knock it in if he, uh, if he failed to uh, make a clean contact I, I was going to say go to Clive but it's the danger hasn't gone away is it look here comes Hereford again no that's it Bradshaw's clearance upfield is straight to Benella Benella Purdy and here comes uh, here comes Mills oh he's is he going to get to it? Yes, he's going to keep it in down on the left-hand side. Dale Webb falls over. Bundu's in the goal. Oh, they've had a great save, but it's up in the air. It's up in the air. It's in the area. It's cleared. It's not cleared. It's a shot from Mills. And Bradshaw gets down right at his left-hand post and puts it round for a corner kick. This is just unbelievable stuff. It's the best game I've seen this season. It's an absolute cracker of a cup to hide this. It has everything. And Birch is going to take the corner kick. He's pulling it into the area. And uh, Bunyan's missed his header. It's at the far post there's nobody marking them at the far post there I think it's Summers but he's pulled it out to Benella Benella's on the edge of the area he's squaring it again to Birch Birch just knocks it through I think that's Mills Mills has clipped it to the far post nobody on Mills but that's a goal and it's a and that Simmons was in the six yard area they just didn't mark up at the far post and Mills was able to head back the cross and uh, that was uh, that was put in in a six yard box by Simmons and that's uh, two all and this is just Unbelievable match now. Hey, every hey. time, every time that uh, Camberley uh, get pushed back, they uh, they find they're in trouble. So 75th minute is two all here. What a match! It Have is. Camberley got any other answers? Uh, here goes that long throw, it's inside the box, it's bouncing inside the area, can Camberley get on the other end? Shot comes in from Nazicho, cleared off the edge of the six yard box, the stanger still has not gone away, and it's, it's just uh, Camberley on the right hand side, and now it has cleared. And uh, he's got two players on the post next to him, over comes the ball, it doesn't get past the first Brentford player, which um, Camberley player, which is uh, Emerson, cross comes in, oh. just goes past the upright, and everybody stood and looked at it, didn't they Nick? The ball that was played through to Hubbard was a quality ball and he had an opportunity there to just control it and he couldn't. He and couldn't that's, do it, that's could he? disappointing really because that's when they need to hold on to the ball in those situations. Yeah, it is. So, um, it, uh, ball is knocked forward here. Shapes to have a shot. Comes to Simmons. Shot comes in. Charges off of, um, it looks like a jewel, but another shot comes in. Just past the upright. Hereford, two good efforts. One of them that came back off of uh, Dan Jewell and the other one just past the upright. Parker's Bradshaw takes the goal kick, knocks it out on this right hand Ooh. side, nearly goes over the, the top of Edwards. He was stretching a bit there, Nick, wasn't he? He certainly was, and if he'd have missed it, Coles would have been through. Can Ed Hubbard get his foot on this? He can, and he's put Coles through. Coles, 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 Coles is Is it the he's winner? Oh, the keeper saved it. It's another shot. Oh, unbelievable. Right to the last minute this match. Yeah, Coles, 
Here's, Coles. Uh, here's Salden now, over on that far side. Just knocks it into Coles. Back into Salden again. Down to the byline. Shot's going to come in from Hoppit. And it's a great charging tackle. And this game is still not over. Camberley could have wrapped this up through Coles, couldn't they? They certainly could. He got it. They had a great ball. He was in the right-hand side of the area. And he shot. But what a, a great save from uh, from Horsell, who hasn't had to do much uh, this half, actually, in the last minute of the match. He hasn't. As uh, Hubbard picks the ball up. Ball's gone out the right-hand side. I thought Coles was going to get that, but he doesn't. It goes to Edwards, clears it down the line for Bundu. Bundu inside the, just cuts inside his man. And now it's Hereford inside the penalty area. And the flag's gone up. I thought they were going to continue. And Nick, what have we got now? We must be catching No, we're, we're there. We're, we're there. there. We're we just, waiting, there. Well, just waiting for the referee to decide. Simmons is, uh, Simmons is certainly giving the referee uh, so, another slice of his opinion. And how Camberley could have wrapped and that up too. And the final whistle's gone. We'll get all the recriminations. Here, I've on this kind of summarisation of it all, fantastic, fantastic game. And uh, wait a minute, here we go, Nick. Simmons is in on, uh, got past uh, to your jewel there. He's pulled it uh, through. Bundu shot. It's in the post. It's bounced back to Mills, but Mills is offside and he's put it wide anyway. Oh, Simmons is, uh, Simmons is holding his hamstring though, so I think he's going to have to be substituted. So, uh, uh, so they have to. Uh, uh, oh, a bunion header from that corner kick, but uh, it just went. Uh, it just went over the bar, unfortunately. It, it, at least he could do something, can't he? That's right. You'd, you'd think, but apparently not. Here come Hereford. Ball into the box. Ellis has flicked it back, and it's going to be Hoppy that clears it out. Now Bunyan's going to try and get his head to it, and here comes Hubbard to try and make a bit of a nuisance of himself, and he has. Birch has, uh, Birch has not been able to do anything, and now it's Hubbard versus five and then he's shot. It bounced awkwardly, but Horsell was able to, uh, able, to, able to deal with it. I mean, it was coming from about 30 yards, so he'd, he would have been gutted if that had gone past him. Coles. Uh, thick Coles would have been in the, in, in the area there, but he's just hand on hips now, by the way. Yeah, that's it. Hubbard's there again to win the ball. He's playing it upfield just aimlessly there, and it bounces off uh, a Hereford player, and suddenly they're off down the... Uh, Oh, Purdy slipped over there. Ford's trying to make the most of it, but no. Here comes Purdy again. He's moving into the centre. He's going across the box. He's shot. Brad, Bradshaw has saved it, but he didn't get up very quickly. Uh, Mills thought he was going to get on the end of that, but um, maybe Bradshaw was just teasing him or something. <laughs> he did seem an age, I must admit, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> when he saved it down to his right, it just seemed an absolute and utter age. And uh, there goes the half-time whistle of the um, first, first half of X. I want to try and get an interview with Dan Turkson. I don't know if we're allowed to stay on that late. I'll get James to confirm that to me. And, um, and we have kicked off here in this second half. Yeah, but uh, here they, Purdy down, down, and uh, suddenly here comes Oates. He's put it into the into the box. Ellis is, oh what? It's a corner ball. Well, Ellis tried to clear it, fell over. It bounced up. Uh, it bounced up in the air to Mills. Mills hit a shot to and go in. <laughs> Ford's knocked it into the middle, but there's nobody there. And Coles is just standing there looking at it, saying, oh, yeah, that's a nice ball, isn't it? Hoppitz hit it towards him. It's almost towards Coles, but he's not moving, so he's not interfering with replace. Selden hits it to Coles. Now it has it, Coles. He's flicked it over, but Ford would be offside, surely, <laughs> if he did anything. <laughs> and he's really hurt himself just flicking it over. Yeah. Look. Throw's taken already. Yeah, throw's taken, and they're off, and uh, now they're uh, down to the byline. It's a ball into the box. It's a good challenge. It's come back to Birch. 
It's desperation stakes, but it's cleared by Ford, and but nowhere it didn't really go. Southern's knocked it back into the box, and that was uh, well. I think uh, I think John Mills was seeing lots of uh, mega headlines for that volley. Score line there as Campbell down the Dorman's right. Dorman's coming down the right hand side there. Can he can he do anything? He's cut back in. He's still got the ball. Can he cross it? He's crossed it, but nobody's gambled. And he's crossed it back again on the other side by Hoppit, but nobody gambled again. Jaws had to come out. Everybody's looking so tired on this pitch now as, it, as the ball goes from one end to the other, and uh, it's come out over to uh, over to Purdy. Purdy's going to shoot. It's pushed wide by uh, by Bradshaw, and it's a corner kick for Hereford. Because we're in um, additional time, extra time, um, even if it's a draw, they go back for a replay then, don't they? Nick? Yeah, and then no if penalty. that's a draw after extra time, yeah. then they go to penalty. Here come Hereford. And Saved. Cleared. Oh, my goodness. Mills was played in. Oh, he was, off, he was offside again, though. <laughs> All this drama. Mills thought he was having, had a chance there, but it was saved by Bradshaw, and then uh, Dan Jewell did an overhead kick to kick it out. Now it's Edwards. He's uh, pushing down the left. He's pushing. He's going he's gonna to tap it inside to Birch. Birch back to Edwards. Is he going to get to it? Yes, he is. Oh, no! And Mills has put the ball in the back of the net for, Ker for Hereford, and there has to be less than a minute left now. And that is just absolutely cruel. Yes, it's the it's last minute of the extra time here. And Camberley just, they didn't think the ball was going to stay in. They didn't think that Edwards was going to keep that ball in. And when he pulled it back, they just weren't ready for it. Oh, it's a calamity for Camberley. It really is. They battled and battled and battled. And I actually thought they were going to hold on and take this back to uh, Kruna Park. But credit to Hereford, they've kept their heads up, they've persevered and persevered. That's the way that they play, really. And the ball, as you say, got to the byline, and that sums them up. They managed to keep it in, knock it in near post, and there was Mills to slam it in the back of the net. And uh, Purdy collects it in the middle. Now uh, Benella, and it's uh, it's all over. Uh, and now Bundu's got it down the right-hand side against Hoppet. Hoppet stepped in and tackled him, though. And now Chris Ellis... He's played it down to hop it, but that's it. The referee is blown for time, and that's absolute heartbreak for Camberley as they lose in the last minute of uh, the last minute there of, uh, of extra time to uh, a sucker punch from uh, from John Mills. They have indeed, and there's some of the Camberley players. I can count them: one, two, three, four, or including Matt Bunyan, who's got both of the uh, goals for. Camberley all on their knees five of them all on their knees on that final whistle they made a great account of themselves the Hereford fans need to applaud every player all the substitutes that came on as well they've got their money's worth out of this game it really is a tremendous cup tie three and a half thousand come to see this match here at Edgar Street and um, it's been a, a credit hasn't it Nick